Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you are doing very well. I hope you are doing great. Today I have with uh, me a very interesting guy, Mr. Amit Kumar Nayak. He has done his research internship from ISRO and this video is going to be all about that and he'll be sharing some very important tips regarding the research internship. So Amit, tell us something about yourself to the audience. Okay. So hey everyone, first of all, thank you for calling me on your YouTube channel. My name is Amit Kumar Nayak and I am currently mechanical engineering final year BTEC student and I have recently completed my 1.5 month internship from your house satellite center ISRO and in this video I will be covering all the details regarding the same and I will tell you about all the criteria and what was my experience means how was my experience and I how I have applied for it and how you can also get this opportunity it was a pleasure Amit uh, calling you on the channel and uh, we are very grateful to you. You have come to share some very important tips regarding the research internship. And how was your experience till now at BIT Sindri? Uh, tell us, tell us how was your experience? My experience in BIT Sindri is going good. Like I have enjoying a lot here. Not only uh, in examination point of view or academic point of view. I am enjoying a lot in hostels. My friends are very good and the seniors are very helpful over here. Like they are uh, very. Uh, sincere and they guided us a lot and uh, of course the infrastructure is very good so I am enjoying a lot. So coming to the important questions, uh, how did you apply it and what were the eligibility criteria to apply at this research internship at ISRO? Okay so I have applied after getting the guidance from my seniors as I said here the seniors are very helpful. So my seniors told me regarding this that such organizations like ISRO, uh, DRDO, BARC launches their internship program. So I got to know about this and I was very clear about it that I have to go for it. And then I have applied, uh, uh, then I I am continuously searching on Google. Like I have keep uh, searching on Google, YouTube regarding the same. And I got this information on, uh, you, uh, on the official website of your house satellite center ISRO. There they have launched their date. So I have applied from there. And the criteria is very simple. There is only there are only two criteria that you have to follow. One is uh, first come first preference. That is very important. That as soon as you apply, the chances will be high. And the second one is your resume. Your resume should be very clearly uh, like it should be very much oriented to those projects that is available in ISRO and what kind of project you want. And of course, it should be very much related to core so that you will be like getting those kind of projects. So guys, your resume plays an important part and one of the things to keep in mind is that keep looking on the official website of ISRO. Right. Now from this Amit, uh, one question the student must uh, should be arising in the student's mind is like uh, yours was the summer internship, summer research internship. So how, months, uh, how many months prior to that should you apply on the website? So I have applied three to four months before. I don't remember the exact, but it was uh, uh, before three months I have applied. Okay. So as I said, the criteria is first come first preference. So as soon as you applied, the chances will be high. So I have applied three months before. Okay. So uh, are the preference given to the tier one students like BIT simply is a tier two college. That's for sure. So there must be a doubt in student minds like. If someone from IITs has applied there, so will he be given preference over a tier 2 college? I don't think so. There, there is something like that. Because I have seen many friends who are from very uh, tier 3 type of college. And uh, many of uh, them were from IITs and NITs also. So it is not a criteria to judge on the basis of your college. So it is uh, not like that. So no matter where, no matter whichever tier college you are from, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, you can still apply and have an equal shot at getting research internship at ISRO. Correct. One of the uh, important questions that students have is like, uh, how will we get allotted the topics? So what are the different topics that we will be allotted? So what was your topic, Amit? Yeah. So my topic was completely related to my branch. As I said, I am from mechanical branch. So it is very much clearly written on the website that your topic will be completely depend on your branch. Okay, so my branch was mechanical, so I got the topic of thermal control of spacecraft. It is completely related to thermodynamics and heat transfer and thermal engineering work. 
So I got this uh, topic and I have learned a lot. From it. So are there any options like you can choose a certain topics over over a given number of topics? Yeah, they have provided me a lot of topics related to my branch. So I uh, uh, based on those I have to choose what kind of topic interests me. So I have choose this topic because thermodynamics is my strong part. So I choose this. Yeah. So if you are from a certain engineering core branches, electrical, mechanical, or whatever, and you have a command over certain subject, like Amit has a command over thermodynamics, so he chose the topic uh, like thermal control of the spacecraft. Spacecraft. Correct. Yeah. So that is the important thing to keep in mind. And now, how was your experience at ISRO? ISRO is a very big organization. It is the one of the best, one of the most sought after uh, organization that students look for. So, how was your experience there? Yeah, my experience was very good over there. Like I have uh, learned a lot from there. ISRO is not only because it is a very big organization. Also, the learning uh, potential over there is very high. You will get a lot of opportunity related to your branch, related to other things as well. Like your communication will improve, and the guidance that you will be getting from the uh, from the guide that is available over there will be very helpful in your future uh, future uh, career aspect. And I have learned a lot from my guide also. The people were very uh, helpful over there, so I have learned a lot. So one thing is like, what was the duration of the internship or can we change the duration of the internship? Like are we given choices to opt for certain duration? Like I want to do one month, two month, three month internship. So it is very clearly written that there are two types of uh, project or uh, training uh, uh, going uh, there in ISRO. One is of six month and another is 1.5 month. So 1.5 month was my, okay. So it was uh, internship, research internship. And the second one that is of six months, it is a project training. So there are two types of training is going over there. So you have to choose any one of them. If you get selected in one, you cannot switch to another. So at last, uh, what are some of the suggestions that you will give to the juniors if they want to pursue research internship at ISRO? So the only suggestion that I would like to give to you, like you have to be very much updated with the dates, like how will you get this opportunity when they are going to launch their internship program you have to be very much ready from your side so that you can get this opportunity and you you should keep uh, looking into the website so that uh, you will be get informed as soon as possible and the basic you should uh, your basic should be very much clear like your basic in your department branch should be very much clear like what kind of subject interest you there you have to be very much command of, of, over uh, that so that you will get this opportunity with maximum chance. Discussion guys, first thing you keep in mind, make your resume, the resume should be attractive. In that CGPA also plays a role, I think. So my CGPA was not so good. Many of my friends were having a good CGPA more than me, but they got not, they didn't get the chance. Okay. So I don't think CGPA matters a lot. So resume, your resume ma matters, uh, keep your resume attractive, start making your resume. The second thing is like keep actively looking on the ISRO website, when the dates and how to apply it will be all on the ISRO website. That is the second thing. Third thing is like uh, how to search for guide, one of the important question we didn't ask like how, how to uh, search for the guide under which you want to work at ISRO. Okay, so guide will be allotted to you uh, by them only like they will uh, allot you a guide according to your department like if i have in, I, I have interest on thermal so they allot me a thermal engineer so guide will be given to you guys so that was the sum summary of the interview uh, of the discussion and to one thing to keep in mind is isro is a very big organization if you do a research internship at isro it will play a very big part in the interviews of your placement. I think that's for sure. Keep in mind, if you are from a core branch like mechanical, electrical, you should definitely do the research internship at ISRO. It will give you a lot of exposure, a lot of healthy exposure. You will see how big organization work and what are the technicalities behind a certain project. That's for sure. And that was all about the discussion. That was Mr. Amit Kumar Naik, research intern at ISRO. I hope you have found the discussion very helpful, important. 
and do like this video share the video and comment your views i'll be providing the details of amit his profile his linkedin profile his instagram profile and he also has an active youtube channel i'll be providing the link of these three things in the description do check it out and thank you if you watched till the very end thank you amit it was a pleasure having you on the channel thank you man.